Hey guys, Clay here. We've got Rugged Ridge of Sport Rack in the shop and I'm gonna show you how to install this on your Jeep Gladiator. So for this installation, we're gonna use a four, five, and six millimeter Allen wrench, a 10, 16, and 17 millimeter wrench, a ratchet, a 13, and 17 millimeter deep well socket. So let's go ahead and get started. So we're on the passenger side, inside of the bed rail. If your Gladiator has the cargo rack from the factory, you're gonna skip this step. If you don't, the kit includes these spacers. So you're just gonna grab an M6 button head and a washer and attach the spacer where the cargo rack would be. So you're gonna to wanna to make sure that this slot is orientated towards the back of the spacer with this longer portion towards the front. This is gonna allow you adjustment with this bed rail bracket. So now we'll install the rear cargo spacer. Same way, some M6 hardware. You're gonna wanna make sure that that small circle is facing towards the front. And there's a little bit of adjustment in this bracket if you need to loosen it up later and move it, but you can go ahead and tighten it now. So now we'll attach this bed rail bracket. You've got this nut plate that's just gonna slide into the spacer. Now this we are gonna leave loose because this has got some adjustment and then we'll put the front bracket on. So now we've got that front bracket. The nut plate's gonna go in from the back. Same thing, we're gonna leave that loose so we have plenty of adjustment. So now that we've got all four of those brackets installed, we're gonna repeat that process on the other side. So we've got the main bulkhead hoop here and we've got the driver's side bed rail tube. The kit's gonna come with two of these foam pads. The way this works is one of these foam pads is gonna to attach to the main hoop and one is gonna to attach to the bed rail. They're the same shape, so once everything bolts together, this is just an isolator pad, but this lets the shape fit perfectly between those connections. So now this is the important part, is to line up these pads and match the shapes. I've got the bed rail in my hand and you can see how the slots match up, the outside shape matches up. So I'm gonna clean this with some isopropyl alcohol and then we're gonna attach that foam pad. So now that we figured out which pad goes on which piece, we're over at the main bulkhead section. And again, you can see how that lines up perfectly. You've got holes at each end. You can get to the hardware easily and it fits the shape of the tube. So now we're gonna clean this with some isopropyl alcohol. So now we'll position the foam pad. So we can see those holes for the hardware. press it in place. So now we're going to place this main bulkhead tube section up towards the front of the bed. And then we'll go ahead and attach that with the provided hardware. So now we're at the passenger side front bulkhead and we're going to install this hardware on the bottom because there's already a threaded bung in the bed. Now your kit's gonna include hardware because we noticed that some trucks don't have a threaded bung on the bottom. And so you're gonna have two bolt plates per side. And so what we're gonna do is take this fish wire, go through the front of the bed. We're gonna put this bolt plate on here. Thread it down until it's at the edge of the wire. Pull it through. 
take this off. Put your washer on. tighten this up, but we're going to leave, there's a little bit of adjustment left and right, so we're going to snug this up, but we want to maintain that adjustment. And now we'll repeat that on the opposite side. So now if you're going to run the crossbars, which we are, these brackets are going to sit inside of these bed rail brackets. And then this bed rail tube is going to sit on the outside and it's going to get installed with carriage bolts. So I'm going to go ahead and put this carriage bolt in the back. And then I'm going to push back on this tube and that's going to help keep the carriage bolt in place so that you can get this washer on and start this lock nut. And then now I'm going to attach the same way to this front bracket. and then we'll loosely install the other hardware. So we're gonna get our M6 button head hardware, go in from the top, put a washer, Nylock on the bottom. And again, we're going to leave all this loose so we can make adjustments if we need to. We're going to repeat that process on the other side. So we're going to install this front crossbar and it's just going to slide into the bracket. And then we're going to install this bolt washer, washer and then lock nut combo on each side. and then we'll install that rear crossbar the same way. So now that we've got everything installed loosely, we're going to start at the bulkhead. We'll tighten up that hardware and we'll work our way to the back of the truck. So now we'll tighten up the bulkhead. And we'll tighten up the bed rail. Now we'll tighten up this bracket in the channel. And now 
now that everything's lined up, we can just take this crossbar bolt back out. And use a 17 millimeter socket to tighten up this carriage bolt hardware. And now we'll do that same process on the back bracket and we'll keep working our way from passenger side to driver side, passenger side to driver side, again from the front of the bed all the way to the back. There you go guys, really easy install. This can be done in about an hour in your driveway with basic hand tools. Now if you have any questions at all, make sure to give us a call or visit us online. Thanks.